Yo, what up? It's your boy Dexter Pipkins, aka Jimmy No Fro, aka Jimmy the Legend, aka the Legend of Hip Hop. Today's video is a motivational video. I know everybody on Psych to Go is used to knowing psychological facts and just learning interesting things on here but i think i feel like just for this particular video for today i just want to get this off my chest in a positive way in a motivational way which is why this is a motivational video so what i want to know is if you know why the future is now do you know why the future is now the reason why i'm asking you this is because it's not just an important question for everybody but it's an important question for you. This question is so important that it really reflects. You look deep down inside of who you really are and you ask yourself why the future is now. Why is this so important to me? What does this have to do with me? As human beings, we have created so much in our life. It has expanded to this year, 2015, and so many years to come. We are the future. We are the present. We are the now. And so when you ask yourself why the future is now, it's because the future plus now equals the present. In this present moment now, the world that we live in is a beautiful world. There are so many amazing things in this world to be grateful for. For starters, your health. The fact that you're alive, you wake up every single day, so many opportunities to make your dreams come true and to help other people and to just be you 100%. That is pure love. That is pure love to you. Another thing to be grateful for is the people that come in your life. The way they look at you, the way they pay attention, the way they show their support. Another thing to be grateful about is your dreams. Your dreams are there for a reason. Your dreams is something that you truly want to work on. Your dreams is what you want. It's what you understand, even if no one else doesn't understand. There are some who will understand you and will support you. There are others who don't understand you and will still try to support you. Yet some of them who also do not understand, they will try to knock you down for it. They will question your belief, your ability. They will question everything about you, your faith. They will question where you are at now. Saying stuff like, is this what you really want? Why are you doing this? What's your purpose in life? We can also be the past as well. There are so many things back in the past to be grateful for. And while it's great to look back at it sometimes and to reflect and just realize that we have done so many great things for this earth, we still have to look forward. We can create so many great things to add to that past. And when we look back, we look at only the good. Now I understand there are the bad times, and a lot of people look to those more often than the good. It's just so hard for them to get a grasp of positivity sometimes. For them it's just like holding grudges, being mean to people, not treating others how you would want to be treated, it's just not right. It all involves your future. You know there is this quote that is said that what you bring about this world is what will come back onto you. So you really watch what you do to people. You have to watch what you say. If there's something that you've done to hurt somebody, go up to them and say that you're sorry. Do not hold any grudges against people. Do not live your life full of hate. Don't go down a wrong path, a dark path. It's not you. I know it's not you because when I look at you, I see something beautiful. I see an energy, a positive energy that's so vibrant that when people look at you, they all smile instantly. Not really knowing why, but yet deep down inside, they kind of know because when they look at you, your aura, your energy, it's just something so beautiful that they can't turn away from it. All they can do is love, cherish, appreciate, be grateful, and love it every single day. So, in conclusion, when it comes down to your life, just know that you are the future. What you create for this world will be very, very beautiful. A lot of popular people have said that you're not blowing up unless you have so many haters. Honestly, I revoke that. And I say that you don't have to have hate in your life to have love in your life. Let me repeat, because I like that quote. I really like that quote. You do not have to have hate in your life to love in your life. You can always love and be who you really are. Be true to yourself. You can be you. You can live out your dreams. Do what you want to do. And be happy. Reach your goals. Make so many great friends. Meet the guy slash girl of your dreams. Help out your family, every single person in the world. Do whatever it is that makes your heart happy. And you can live like the human being. The beautiful human being. The beautiful, amazing human being that you are. So, what I want to know is, what makes you your future? What can you do to create an awesome future? Do you believe that your future, your life, your passion, and your love is valuable. 
I really want you guys to let me know what you think in the comment section below. I really wanted to make this video because, like, it was a topic in my mind. And it's just something that just came to me. It hit me. And I really wanted to just let people write something positive. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Don't be afraid to, you know, let me know how you guys feel. Because there are people out there who are silent and they're afraid to talk about themselves. Thank you so much again. I want you guys to go check out Psych2Go website, Facebook, Twitter. It's all in the description box below. I'm pretty sure the Tumblr is there too. If you guys liked what I did today in this video, and you've liked what I've done in the past for Psych2Go for my other three videos that I've made on this channel, you can go subscribe to youtube.com slash k2smeets. On that channel, you will find that I make Kingdom Hearts music, regular music, I do random K series where I have random videos uploaded, and I do Walmart adventures where me and random friends just go in and just do random stuff, and I record it. My goal is to get 30,000 subscribers by my birthday, November 24th. I was born in 92, yes, I'm a 90s baby, 92 baby. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and peace.